And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Lee Dixon. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It's Napoli, and they face Villarreal. Well, night games, European football, where does it get any better? Well, it does if you're in the final. But with finals, they're horrible if you lose. Make sure you win if you get here. The Napoli starting 11. David Ospina, the Colombian, is the goalkeeper. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Costas Manolas in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Villarreal starting 11. You, well, as a team, they do have their stylistic Enjoy preference, the and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. Manolas... Koulibaly and fed forwards just couldn't capitalise there and taking it away Parejo Pedraza with it Pau Torres Raul Albiol and very deftly cut out so a throw in here Tiamue <laughs> Bakayoko here's Insigne Ozim Hen has a go, and a goal! The first of the contest! Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. Well, I can tell you, Derek, when I got into this position, it was panic stations. Hit it as hard as you can. Well, that's a lovely, lovely controlled finish. In step, in the goal. Started. The advantage belongs to Napoli. Manu Trigueros. Etienne Capu. Mario Gaspar. It's with Raul Albiol. Lozano. Have they given him too much space? There's a slide draw pass. And it might be. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe.
Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away, first time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Well, they've been poor all day, Derek, and your sense is going to be a rollicking in that dressing room after the game. So, 2-0 now. Has the strength to hang on to it. Pau Torres. Now Parejo. Moy Gomez. Throw-ins given. Raul Albiol. It's with Parejo. Pau Torres. Pedraza. And providing width. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Napoli have hardly had the ball, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Breaking at pace. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Martins. Here's Insigne. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Well-timed tackle. And a throw-in it's going to be. Fabian. On the ball, Bakayoko. Lorenzo Insigne, Hisai, and just one minute of time added on for stoppages. A bit sloppy in possession. So half-time it is in this battle for Europa League glory, and who would have thought it would be so one-sidedly? Well, yeah, we've had one-sided drama, and at the moment... We're looking at the end of the game and it's only half time, so surely something's got to happen in the dressing room. See the quest for Europa League success, and the second half of this final is underway. Pau Torres. Now Parejo. Manu Trigueros. And here's Gerard Moreno. And Napoli come away with it. Parejo. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Wonderfully weighted pass. He just needs to stay level-headed now. Surely... Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Can John Scott, that's John Scott, please make your way to the ticket office. You have your wife's ticket. Thank you. Mertens. On the ball, Bakayoko. Hisai. Ozim Hen. And now Hisai. Promising attack, this. Fabian, he's got the right idea with that pass. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Prepare to take on the shot. Denied by the bar. Back in play here.
Well, he was so unlucky not to score, Derek. It was a great effort. Pau Torres. Villarreal enjoying the bulk of possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Pedraza. Pau Torres. Pedraza with it. Capu now. Pedraza. Paco Alcázar. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. They're showing good defensive judgment. Taking care of business defensively here. And that pass could be troublesome. And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. Well, he got the touch on the ball. And so a corner it'll be. And the substitution will occur now. Played into the centre of the box. And the keeper did more than enough. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? Deserves credit for winning the ball back. A really committed challenge. And it's gone out for a throw-in. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Gerard Moreno. On the ball to Kwesi. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Pau Torres. On the ball to Kwesi. Parejo. Torres on the ball. And Mario Gaspar. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Lorenzo Insigne. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. 